Hey everyone, I'm back at it again with the white van. Uh, you've joined us for a very special edition of Antique Tuesday. I know everyone looks forward to this every Tuesday. And so we're going to actually look at one of the very treasured items that w is within the Axel collection. Which you wouldn't think is, is that vast, but you'd be surprised at what we have in the vault. Um, we have a number of Dolly Parton's wigs. We have um, actually a trilobite that exactly uh, was fossilized between the Jurassic and, and the t t Triassic period. And um, we also have an original copy. You know, I can believe this. We have an original copy of the first ever published Tiger Beat magazine. So, but actually today we're going to show you a piece that um, is dated to the Holy Grail, the Crusades era. We actually had to outbid Oprah on this. A lot of people don't know that Oprah is actually a big uh, uh, Crusades collector. Um, we outbid her by about $3,000 and we paid, let's see, we bid $335,000 for this item. Um, it's very precious to us. Again, it is tied to the Crusades. We actually keep it in um, in a very special uh, display cabinet that we got in Ikea. And ironically, the display cabinet was called Holy Grail. And um, that was spelled H-O-L-E-E -E, and an amulet or an infinity stone over the uh, second E. A, a Grail, G-R-A-Y double L. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to bring out the item for you to observe. And here it is, my friends. I'll give you a good look. We have done our research on this item. What we know about it is that it was owned by a knight. His name was um, Corduroy of the Five Joannes. He lived between, sometime between the years of 1325 and possibly died in uh, 1386 or 87, that's a little bit up for debate. There has been some carbon, carbon dating on this to see, but, but, but this did belong to him. I'm gonna go through and kind of show you a lot of interesting things that come from this relic. As you can see, first is a French word on top. Son, everyone can say it with me, please. Son, son, and then the Y, ye, ye, son, ye which uh, ye is uh, kind of like a different word for and, and then son is, is, can be translated a different way. It can mean the actual son or your son. So, um, so a lot of times when people would ask the Crusades of old, uh, uh, what, what do you seek? They'd say son ye, so son and. So, you know, they kind of invented the Marvel T's before Marvel did it, but son ye. We, here we have this marvelous cave. Now, the lighting may be a bit off, but there are two prongs in there. And this was believed to hold um, d uh, dueling dragon kingdoms, miniature dragons, and they were called the, the, dueling, the dueling kingdoms of Zeljans. And that was located here, captured somewhere along the route uh, to their crusades. Over here, we have some really interesting hieroglyphics. Here, this is the Holy Triangle of Sir Galahad. This always pointed in a southeast direction, which simplified their uh, path to the Holy Land. Um, this, is the, uh, this is the block of King Arthur. Everyone knows King Arthur for his round table, but um, when he turned bad, he, he went with the block, the square there. Um, a little interesting here, this, they added some color, I'm just going to get that really close here, rec, and the French word rec, um, that has yet to be fully translated by French scholars, but, um, that is in the works, we hope to have an answer on what that means by the year 20, uh, 28, um, and then the, the red pigment, some, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be touching it, but some believe that could be actual blood from the tiger of Salisas, um, but uh, yet to be tested. 
There's a couple other symbols you'll see around. This is the um, double arrow of truth, and this is the double arrow of the devil. So it's a little hard to, you know, you don't want to put, put the wrong one on. Um, double arrows obviously are now common among us, mostly because they are a shape of a, of a lucky charm. Um, so thanks, General Mills. Uh, moving along, we've talked about the inner cave here. We've talked about the top. On the rear of the item, you'll see this really interesting pattern right there. And those are called the four halos of, of Dionysus. The four halos. And um, from there would emanate light. It would become a light source. So as they went, went towards... Um, where they believed to find the, the grail, they would, they would hold this like this, and light would emit out from the, the holy, the, the quadrant holy of uh, Dionysus. Um, so uh, there you have it. Uh, again, I, I want to be really g gentle with this thing. Um, a few things I just want to also highlight for your enjoyment. Um, a lot of people ask, where did all the anvils go? You know, when you look back and there's so many anvils that were in blacksmith shops and, and, uh, and, you know, those don't deteriorate or like, they're not biodegradable. And so a lot of people ask, you know, what, what happened to those? And so this here is actually part of a me melted anvil from that age. Um... Oh, and then actually, what was also really interesting is in the in the three holy rings of uh, Dionysus, you could actually pull uh, press within them the triptych snake. This is called um, the triptych. The the well, there's many 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 names for it, but this is called the triptych snake of Macmillan. Maybe you can see there, um, long dead, but uh, you can see this the snake here that, that it would intertwine. Once rumored to hang on the um, off the bangs of Medusa herself. Um, before they were cut off and the, the snakes became a holy symbol. Anyway, I hope you have really enjoyed looking at, one, uh, again, Corduroy of the Five Joannes, one of his holy relics. Uh, it is exceptionally rare. We are very, very lucky to have it. We're still working on a plaque um, to put next to the box. But um, if you'd like to see any other uh, objects, or maybe in your collection you have some, um, some crusade uh, relics, I'd love to see those. And... We can talk, uh, you know, Canterbury Tales and um, Knights of the Round uh, t Table. We, we dance whenever able. Uh, yeah, you know, drop me a, a line and, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go for it. So, guys, till Wednesday, um, keep it holy and uh, may Corduroy be with you.